Well, good morning. It's not even a good morning, it's just gone at three in the morning, woken by the darn dog running around, well, dogs uh, running around, yapping, barking, Dad, it's the end of the world, there's something going on. And um, Probably because someone walked past the house outside and maybe was on the phone. That was enough to trigger them, went on for five minutes, now totally awake, brain was whirring, and started thinking about this question that I was asked yesterday. So, um, return to this blog that I started yesterday afternoon. Does IBM I need Java to run? Um, and I decided I might as well get up and finish it off and record a download. So you can see IBM Semaru being installed in real time. Um, and after that I'll either go back to bed or I'll just carry on with this coffee and just start the day. Why not, right? But anyway, I digress. So, if you've been looking at this blog, it's probably because you've heard about all the Java kerfuffle that's been going on for the last couple of years, with Oracle changing the Java license, um, and rumours of you only use it if it's free for personal use, and if you want to use it at a corporate setting or for any company, they're going to charge you a seat license. I've read somewhere that it was $30 a seat. Um, which may or may not be true, but it's an in, not an insignificant cost, right? Um, but one of the very quiet things that IBM's done on the side, like lots of the things they do, is release their own version, their own deployment of Java. Um, and again, with their crappy naming standards, they've called it the IBM Semaru Runtime. At least it's not called IBM AS400 Runs or something. Here's the website. So from the link here, just on, on my blog, go to um, developer.ibm.com or just Google IBM Semaru. And this is the no cost IBM runtime to develop and run Java applications. It looks like Java, it smells like Java, it does everything Java does. So before recording this video, I actually uninstalled Java off this desktop here. I'm just running Windows 10. As you can see here, this is a shortcut to a jar file. This is an old TN5250J Java, and if I run it, nothing happens because it just comes up and says oh you haven't got java installed how do you want to run this thing doesn't know what to do with it um, and if i run access client solutions the screen just flashes doesn't even tell me it's not working it just doesn't do anything so let's quickly go and install ibm semaru um, and walk you through it so if you follow the link to the developer website it tells you all kinds of stuff about road trips and what versions are on there's several blogs talking about it but we most importantly want to go to the download for windows assuming you're running Windows. I've also got this installed on my MacBook um, and it works just fine. So let's go with the most recent version, Java, or sorry, IBM Semaru version 18.0.2.1. This is a branch of OpenJDK, um, which is an open Java development kit um, and open Java 9. Um, I'm gonna install the 64-bit one just because that's how I roll. And I'm gonna download what should we do? Development kit or the runtime? It's never too clear when they do these things which version that you want. Um, so let's go with the, the, the big package of the Java development kit. And we'll, I'm going to install the MSI, which is, as you probably know, the Windows uh, install function. Or, of course, you could download the zip if you prefer and you want to roll it out that way. So here's my Semaru downloading. It's downloaded. I'm going to open it and prepare to install. Welcome to the IBM Semaru Runtime Open Edition 18 Setup Wizard. That's very exciting. Here's some blah, blah, blah. Of course I'm going to read all of this. Oh, yeah, that was great. Um, right, here's my stuff. It says, right, do you want to install the JDK with Eclipse Open J9? And I'm, what, it defaults to saying not set the Java home variable or the Java Soft Oracle registry keys. Um, I'm going to turn those on because I can't see any reason that I wouldn't want to have the full install on my Windows PC. Um, but you know your mileage may may vary change those values or not or leave them at default right here's the uh, install running it just came up asking me with my old uh, UAC thing whether I want to approve the install off it runs it seems to be running pretty quick uh, coffee's not too bad this morning completed the IBM Semaru runtime open edition click the finish button to exit the setup wizard well that seemed very painless uh, it's a reveal. All the YouTubers do that. I know myself doing it, so I'm not going to do it anymore. Anyway, so what's happened is I've just downloaded and installed Simru, stuck in a reboot, um, which also did a Windows uh, 10 update. So 
that might mess everything up but we'll find out so where are we at okay so on our desktop we have the access client solutions we now have a nice little java cup thing associated with the jar file that we have there this is just a, a little jar file that does a telnet 5250 freebie so um, we want to make sure that all of our jars are associated with the new summary runtime to do that the easiest way that i find to do it is to say right click on any jar files that you have you could do that in file explorer or desktop or however and i then say open with and i click on choose another app um, i noticed that i've got the ibm summary runtime binary and java just because i've had all this stuff installed in the past and it remembers it but i'm just going to say always use this app to open jar files and i'm going to select the new summary runtime so if I go down the bottom and say look for another app on this PC, it takes me into the program files folder and I'm going to go down to find Semaru, uh, which is here. And if I go into Semaru, I then see the JDK that I just installed, right? Good stuff. Let's go in there. I then pop into the bin folder and I associate with java.exe. So you just click java.exe and say OK okay so that was java trying to run this jar file unfortunately it didn't work because you can't just run jar files from the desktop desktop well not currently at the time of running this you have to create um a batch file that will run that as a script so uh it's a little bit annoying to do this there are jar executors out there in like, utilities that will script and run these things for you but let's just try and do it manually ourselves right so the first thing I'm going to do is take a copy of the location of where this jar file is. So if I click on properties, show more options, um, how about copy as path? Will that do it? And let's open a command line. So I click the start button, type in CMD for command and go to a command prompt. Now I'm at the command prompt, I can check my Java version for example. So if I just type in Java space dash version okay that's excellent news so it tells me that i'm running open jdk version 1802 it's the ibm semaru runtime edition um, because i've rebooted and it's got all the stuff in memory it always knows where java lives so now i can tell it to let's try and make it run that jar file and see what happens right so i'm going to change directory to Here's what I've got in memory, the copy. I just copied the location of that jar file. You can see that in my case, it's in this folder on the C drive users, Nick L1 drive. That's where it is on the desktop. And this is the name of the jar file. So if I'm, I'm, you know, I could, I could, for example, change to that folder. I don't know if I need to change to it, but I'm going to anyway. Okay. And now I'm gonna run that jar file to run it i type in java minus jar then the name of the jar file that i want to run i, I can qualify it like that if i want so for example you could uh store this command in a batch file java minus jar the path to your jar file the name of the jar file and when you run that batch file this will happen When you run the bar file, <laughs> this will happen. Why is nothing happening? Why do you not do anything? What's going on here? Maybe I've got to put quotes around that. There we go. So that's where I went wrong. So you can see here that you put java minus jar double quotes the name and the location of the jar file that you're running and this that's popped up here is my java script running let's try and run one of these connections and what this does is it tries to give me a very basic 5250 connection into whatever machine i'm trying to connect to that works lovely well it didn't work because my pub 400 session isn't configured but um it did what I wanted it to do. It's running. So let's close that down. And you can see that when it's finished running, it drops back to the command line. So Java's installed and running. Wonderful. Let's try it with ACS. Here's my shortcut to my ACS client. What I did here was 
I downloaded IBM IACS. There'll be links in one of my other blogs to that. And um, ooh, how did I even? I can't even remember how I did all this stuff. I downloaded the jar file, and this is a shortcut to the jar file in the folder in the same way. Here it is, initialize everything, starting up, running Java, bada bing. Let's try and connect to something. I'll just try and connect to a random machine. Let's run the emulator. Let's see what happens. And uh, here it is, you know, it's asking me for the sign on screen, but I'm, I'm not gonna sign on. But as you can see, everything is working wonderfully. So thank you very much, Java. Thank you very much, IBM Semaru. Um, give it a shot, it's free, it works. Let me know in the comments if there's any weirdness that you see and I'll be glad to help. Uh, for right now, it's uh, coming up for 4am. I'm gonna go have a second cup of coffee and dive into my working day. Ciao Bella! <laughs>